we think. There are too many of us that are sitting around worried, having a heart filled with fear and lack of what we don't have, of what we can't do, of where we can't go, or somebody is doing something to us, keeping us down from achieving what God has already given to us and said, this is yours. But we fear reaching out and getting it. For whatever reason, we feel with fears and anxieties of achieving greatness. When God tells us that each one of us have greatness within us, God gave us this greatness from the very beginning of time. God created each one of us uniquely and in his own way that we are not like anyone else. There is no one else in this world who is like me, or like you, you, the you, or any one of us. You see, when God created us individually, he threw away the mold. So there is no other you out there. And this is something that you have to come to understand who you are, because you are a very unique individual. You have greatness in you. And so while you're sitting around worrying about the job that you don't have or the possibility that you may be fired from that job, and all of these negative things entering into your mind, guess what? It's going to happen the way that you're thinking. So what we want to encourage you to do on this day is to get up and get going. We want you to walk over to that TV set, turn it to the off position, take that remote control that you're sitting around punching the buttons. Put it in a drawer someplace and begin to do something positive that is going to generate the type of income that you desire. Now, I know that many of you have great dreams in your heart. And you feel that there's something missing. Why you have not been able to accomplish those dreams. And there is something that is missing. And that is your ability to get up and face the fears that are staring you in the face and keeping you from obtaining that job that is out there waiting for you or opening that business that you have dreamed of or going into that university that you from a kid always dream of being able to go to or being able to write a great book, write a great blog, 
or do something great that's in your mind right now. The thing is that what you are lacking is the motivation to get up and get going. Now, you open your Bibles when we started off. I said, open them to Isaiah 41, chapter 41 and verse 10. And in that verse, the very first two words, God says, fear not. Fear not. God does not want us to have fear about accomplishing great things in this lifetime because he has made us great. And that's why he tells us to fear not. He says further over there in the book of Timothy, he says, I did not give you a spirit of fear. Then if God did not give you a spirit of fear, where did that fear come from? The fear comes from the devil. He's constantly whispering in our ears. When God is saying, go and do this because I have given it to you. You hear another little voice and saying, you are not good enough to do it. And you listen to that voice and you sit back down in the front of that TV set and become a couch potato again. When God is saying, fear not. And then he says, for I am with you. For I am with you. God is with you through thick and thin. No matter what the situation may be, God is with you. He sent the Holy Spirit to dwell within you, to guide you, to teach you, to pick you up when you fall down, to encourage you when doubt comes into your mind. The Holy Spirit is there to do this for you. That's why he says, for I am with you. Fear not, for I am with you. Get up and get going. As a kid coming up on the farm many years ago, my dad would always walk into the bedroom before the break of dawn and began waking us boys up so that we can go into the field and begin to do our work for the day. First thing he would say, get up and let's get going. The early bird gets the worm. You cannot accomplish anything laying there in that bed. And I pull the covers up over my head that says, didn't I say get up? It's time to get up and get going. Okay, Dad, we get up and we get going. Then we get out into the field. And as we're walking around doing what we're supposed to do in terms of our chores, I would see my dad walk over and pick up a handful of dirt. And he would look at it and he says, hmm, this is good soil. And he says, this soil is going to feed you this winter. I look at my dad and, what dirt, dad? That's dirt. How, how, how is that going to feed me uh, this winter? Well, you see, as kids back then, it was kind of difficult to understand the language that dad was speaking in. This is the same way it is with God today. The language that God speaks in when he tells us to get up and get going. When God tells us that there is greatness within us. When God tells us that our minds are fertile soil. It's difficult for us to understand that. 
but the same soil of that my father was talking about feeding us during the winter times is the same thing that God is talking about in terms of our minds being fertile ground if we put the right seeds in our minds and those seeds are the thoughts that go into our minds. If we are planting positive thoughts about the greatness that God has already put in us, we will be able to achieve the greatness that God is already provided for us. He says, I've already given it to you. All you have to do now is accept it. Believe that what I have given to you, you can have it. And he says, fear not, for I am with you. And then in the next verse, he says, be not dismayed if things don't seem to be going quite your way. Do not get upset. Do not become angry. Do not give up simply because they are not going the way that you wanted them to go. What you have to learn to do, God says, is learn to lean and depend upon me because I will show you the way. The Holy Spirit is there to teach you but you have to believe it. And if you can grab a hold of that, you can put it into your mind, conceive it in that good soil, that fertilized soil that's there. You can conceive it in there, you can achieve it. What is it that you desire to have in your life right now that you do not have? What is it? If it's something that you have dreamed of, write it out and say, this is what I intend to accomplish this year. You're putting that seed in your mind that is in fertile soil. And then you're learning to lean and depend upon God because he told you to be not dismayed and why did he say that for to you be not dismayed? Look right at the end of that sentence. He says, for I am your God. Be not dismayed, my brothers and sisters, because he said, I am your God. Because God is God all by himself. And God can do all things but fail. He says to you, he says, you live in me and I will live in you. God wants you to turn your life over to him. He wants you to lean and depend upon him. He wants you to trust him. He wants you to believe that all things are possible. Not some things, but all things are possible to those who believe. Why? He says, because I am your God. Now, look down there at the, at the very next verse. He says, I will strengthen you. So if you're weak and you feel in lack in your life, you feel that you don't have the confidence to, to, to go forward, what is God saying? He says, learn to lean and depend on me and I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you, your mind, and allow you to grow in my grace. I will help you get to that place that you desire because I am there pushing you all the time. But in order for you to get there, you got to unlock your heart. Your heart has been hardened by the old devil. And only you can unlock that lock that's holding you back. That's why he says, get up. Stop laying around in bed 10, 11, 12 o'clock in the day. Stop laying in bed dreading to go to that job 
that you have been working on for the past 10, 15 years. Stop dreading it. Just get up and do it. And if you don't like it, then plan to do something else. Because God said he will strengthen you. He says, I will help you. He says, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is righteous and he's going to show you the way to get to where you want to go because he is righteous. He's not going to take you down the wrong pathway. He's not going to let you stumble and fall when you're trying to accomplish that great dream. You see, on your own, you will stumble and fall. But God is there to pick you up. He says, I will strengthen you and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is what God wants to do for you right now if you get up and get going. God don't want you to fail at anything. We fail because we give up. But if you want to be a winner in this life, you have to get up and get going. Why? Because winners never quit and quitters never win. Fear not, my brothers and sisters, because God did not give you a spirit of fear. God gave you a spirit of love, a spirit of power, and a spirit of a sound mind with fertile soil that if you begin to plant good thoughts into that fertile soil, believing of that what God has given to you, that you can accomplish it. It will come to bear because God says, fear not, for I am with you. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You have greatness in you. All you have to do now is get up and get going. Get up and get going. Stop procrastinating. Get up and get going. Fear not, for I am your God. Get up and get going. Stop procrastinating. You have greatness in you. God created you to do great and awesome things in this world, in this lifetime, and it is up to you because he said you are now living in your season and your season is right now. Open your eyes and see the future. The future is staring you in your face, but you have to see it not with these physical eyes, but with the spiritual eyes that God has given to you. Get up and get going. That is our lesson for today, my brothers and sisters. We pray that you will learn to lean and depend upon God. Trust God in all ways in all times, because God can do all things but fail. Lean and depend upon God. Get up and get going. I'm Pastor Davis. Now that I've provided to you, thank you once again. I really do appreciate you because you have watched this video through to the end. Go to davisbuyers.com and explore 
Okay? We'll see you there. Thank you for watching the videos on our channel. If you would like to see more great videos of what we have to offer, just click on the subscribe button. You could find it over there, or perhaps over there, or even down there. Do it now. Subscribe today.